question here. What is the full form of FAST? FAST is it focused assessment with sonography for trauma? Is it focal assessment with sonography for trauma? It is focused abdominal sonography for trauma. Is it focal abdominal sonography for trauma? Please remember the full form of FAST is focused assessment with sonography for trauma. In FAST, we do a ultrasound in patient with abdominal trauma as an initial investigation and this initial evaluation of a patient of abdominal trauma with ultrasound is called as FAST. In FAST, we put the ultrasound probe at four locations in the sub region to look at the heart and the pericardial space. So this view which looks at the pericardium by keeping the probe in the sub region is the first area that is assessed in FAST. The second place we put our probe is in the right lumbar region. In the right flank region or the right lumbar region, when we put the probe there, we are trying to look at any collections in the perihepatic region in the right paracolic gutter. The third area where we are putting our probe is in the left flank region, in the region of the splenic areas. So when we are trying to put the probe at the left flank region, we are trying to look for any collections in the perisplenic region or in the left paracolic gutter. The next view that we take is in the suprapubic region, right, to look for any pelvic hematomas, okay, or any collections there. So these are the four views that are collected in FAST. What are the four views? A sub view to look at pericardial collections. A right flank view to look at perihepatic collections. A left flank view to look at the perisplenic collection. And a pelvic view or a suprapubic view to look at what? A pelvic hematomas. So this FAST evaluates both pericardial collections as well as hemoperitoneum hemoperitoneum and there is also something called as efast these days we need to understand what is efast please remember efast stands for extended fast extended fast and what we do in this extended fast is along with this four traditional views of fast we also take the right and the left anterior plural views. So we also take the right and left anterior plural views. We are extending it into the thoracic region. So when we are extending it into the thoracic region, we are also trying to evaluate any presence of pneumothorax. So the difference between FAST and EFAST is FAST is used to evaluate pericardial collections and hemoperitoneum, but EFAST, which is much better, evaluates pneumothorax along with pericardial collections and hemoperitoneum, pericardial collections along with hemoperitoneum because we are extending the view onto the anterior aspect of the thoracic region. So we are also able to evaluate pneumothorax. So this is EFAST. Today when we get a patient of abdominal trauma, we try to evaluate initially with a EFAST. So let's review the technique of FAST. In FAST, when the patient of abdominal trauma is in supine position, we use a convex ultrasound probe and we try to evaluate the four areas. The first one we evaluate is a pericardial region through a sub view also called as a subcostal view. The second area is the right flank view or the right upper quadrant view where we try to see for the perihepatic region. The third area we try to evaluate is the left flank view also called as the left upper quadrant view to look for the perisplenic region. And the next is the pelvic view to look for any pelvic hematoma also called as suprapubic view. So please remember the protocol of patient with abdominal trauma. When you get a patient with a blunt trauma abdomen, abdominal trauma, the first investigation that we do is a EFAST or a FAST. And do remember this is an ultrasound procedure, right? On FAST or EFAST, if the patient is having hemoperitoneum or if you are able to evaluate any presence of hemoperitoneum, it is considered to be fast positive. If there is no hemoperitoneum, it is fast negative. Fast negative. 
And if it is fast positive, if there is fluid in the abdomen, when you are doing this ultrasound, what will be your next line of action? The next thing that you want to do is check for the vitals of the patient. Check for the blood pressure, dead check for the pulse rate. If the vitals are stable, you can get a CCT done, a contrast enhanced CT done to know exactly which organ is actually bleeding. When you do fast and when you see hemoperitoneum, you know that there is some abdominal injury, there is some organ that is bleeding. But you do not know which organ is causing this collection. Is it a bladder injury, a kidney injury, a liver injury, a spleen injury? So that is the reason to evaluate better. We go for this contrast enhanced CT scan. The investigation of choice in patients with abdominal trauma is a contrast enhanced CT. But if the patient is unstable, the blood pressure is less, the pulse rate is feeble, you don't have enough time to send the patient for a contrast study. You immediately want to do an emergency exploratory laparotomy. And then on the operation table, identify the organ bleeding and try to do a splenectomy or to ligate the bleeding vessel. So it's very important that when the patient is unstable and the fast is positive, do not send the patient for CCT, go for an emergency laparotomy emergency laparotomy so please remember whether the patient is stable or unstable when the patient of abdominal trauma comes all patients of abdominal trauma we go for fast it is done very fastly within few minutes you cover these four areas try to see for any collection in the abdomen if the patient is showing hemoperitoneum and the patient is stable we can further evaluate and identify the organ which is bleeding by getting a CCT done if the patient is unstable, we go for emergency laparotomy. Now, let us try to identify how the structures appear during a fast, in a normal fast and when there is some collection. Let us look at the first one. What is the first view that we take? That is a subcostal view or the sub view. So, when you put the probe under the xiphoid process and angle it upwards, you will be able to see the heart and the pericardium. So, if it is normal, this is how the heart appears. And this is the pericardial region, there is no collection around. But if there is pericardial effusion, this is how it appears, there is a hypoechoic collection, a dark collection around the heart indicating the pericardial collection. So this is how a normal fast appears and how a pericardial collection appears on a sub view. This is a right flank view. On a right flank view, this is the area of the liver, right? So this is the margins of the liver that you can see. This white area here is the diaphragm. I hope you can appreciate the arrow marks here. This is the diaphragm that you are seeing. This is the parenchyma of the liver. This is the kidney. And this area here, this is the Morrison's pouch or the hepatorenal space. And you are not seeing any collection as such. This is a normal right flank view. And if there is any very hepatic collection. You see this hypoechoic collection around the liver. Can you see appreciate this? In the Morrison space between the liver, this is the liver, this is the kidney, right? So you can see this hypoechoic collection around the liver and the kidney. This tells you that this is a positive fast. Now let us look at the left flank view. And when we are viewing the left flank view, you can see this is the spleen that you can see. Let me outline it for you. This is the spleen. This is the white area is the diaphragm. And you can see this is the area of the kidney, right? And this is a normal fat that you are seeing around the kidney. So you do not see any collection here, right? So this is a normal view. But look at the hypoechoic collection around the spleen here. This is the area of the spleen, right? This is the area of the kidney, right? And you can see this hypoechoic collection in this, around the spleen. This is perisplenic collection. Again, a positive fast. And look at this pelvic view. In this pelvic view, what is this hypoechoic area? This is the bladder. So look at the bladder wall, right? So this is the bladder. And what is this structure here? This is the uterus. And this is a pelvic or the suprapubic view, a normal suprapubic view would appear like this in a female patient. What if there is a pelvic hematoma or a pelvic collection? So you can see this is the bladder, this is the uterus and you can see this hypoechoic collection between them. 
that indicates free fluid or a pelvic hematoma or a pelvic collection. So this is how you have the interpretation of fast done. The sub view to look for pericardial collections, the right flank view to look at perihepatic collections, the left flank view to look at perisplenic collections and the pelvic view to look at any pelvic collections or pelvic hematomas. And you need to interpret this. Fast is done in emergency. Fast is done by an emergency physician, right? Not by the radiologist. You should know how to do it as well as how to interpret it. Because they have asked the full form of fast, they may ask you some other full forms related to ultrasound which are used in emergencies and I would want you to know them. You should know what is POCUS. What does POCUS stand for? POCUS basically stands for point of care ultrasound. Point of care ultrasound is a portable ultrasound procedure where it is the ultrasound is taken to the area of point of care of the patient. So it is not just like a bedside ultrasound. In bedside ultrasound also we have a portable ultrasound machine coming towards the patient bedside. But POCUS is wherever the patient is there we are carrying the ultrasound portable ultrasound machine there either at the area of trauma either in the ambulance or at the bedside of the patient so all of this together is what focus point of care ultrasound to look at you know in evaluations of patients of trauma with pneumothorax okay we can use this focus what is blue protocol blue protocol stands for bedside lung ultrasound in emergency right so bedside lung ultrasound in emergency for acute respiratory failures, a breathless patient is there, you want to differentiate whether it is COPD, whether it is congestive cardiac failure, right? So you want to do this bedside lung ultrasound in emergencies. So this is what is called as blue protocol. Just remember the full forms. They may also ask you what is a false protocol. A false protocol stands for fluid administered limited by lung sonography false fluid administered limited by lung sonography so in patients of acute circulatory failure when you are giving large amount of fluids to the patient you would want to limit the fluid administration by looking at the lung sonography by seeing for any development of pleural effusions and all so that protocol which we use to look at the fluid administration limited by lung sonography is called as false and there is something called as rush protocol Rush protocol is a rapid ultrasound for shock and hypotension. So in cases of shock and hypotension, we evaluate the pericardium, the heart, the uh, inferior vena cava, right? So the iota and try to understand what was the cause of shock and hypotension in the patients. So that is called as rush rapid ultrasound for shock and hypotension. So there are a lot of applications of these portable ultrasound machines in emergency. And you can see this portable ultrasound machines being used on par with a stethoscope during emergencies in a portable manner, right? So these important protocols you should remember. FAST stands for focused assessment with sonography for trauma. FALSE is fluid administered limited by lung sonography. RUSH is rapid ultrasound in shock and hypotension. FOCUS is point of care ultrasound. Blue is bedside lung ultrasound in emergency.